and the greatest. What's good YouTube, it is your boy Vici, and today we're going to be talking about the greatest scam ever, one of the smartest scams that ever has happened. Now, um, this scam doesn't, it didn't happen at a corporate level, it's not a massive scam, it's just a scam, it's just something kids used to do back in the day when, uh, you know, the newer Call of Duties were coming out. When I mean newer, I'm talking about the start of Modern Warfare 2. So, uh, before Modern Warfare 2, I believe it was... Was it Black Ops? No, it was World at War. Then Modern Warfare 2, then World at War, right? I don't know. I don't, I'm shocked. I don't even know the order. But, anyways, guys, Modern Warfare 2. It started there. So, I remember, I remember it, like, so vividly and so clearly. And what it was, so, me and my friends, we were playing, a bunch of friends from school. We were probably playing Domination, right? And we're playing. And, uh, they got a guy on the other team who's 10th prestige. Now, the game's only been out, like, probably a month. And if you guys don't remember, Modern Warfare 2 was very hard to level up and rank up. So, being a 10th prestige was like, wow, that's shocking. How did he do that? Well, um, we're playing. We actually end up beating that dude and his friends. We destroy them. Uh, so then, you know, he goes to game chat and we're in game chat. And he starts talking shit. He's, he's a squeaker, too. Um, and now necessarily, I don't have an issue with squeakers just cause like I used to be one, but I understand how it can get annoying. This guy just started talking shit out of nowhere, like consistently talking shit to us. We didn't even respond. We kind of just left it off. So we play another game. He's on the other team again. And I think my friend Foster, he drops a nuke. So he literally just shit on him. We destroyed him. And then the dude's like, y'all pretty good. Y'all want to be 10th prestige? And we're like, uh, yeah, man, how do we do that? And he was like, okay, man, just join my uh, private match. So we joined his private match. And the private match, eventually, it must have been a bunch of people he'd been playing with, like, throughout the day that were all in on, like, or heard the deal he offered. And the deal was, if he joined his game, he'd start up a private match, and we could all get 10th prestige. And so everyone is totally down. Only issue was that he needed to receive 1,600 Microsoft points, which is the equivalent of $20, to start up the lobby. So... Some, one of my friends was like, okay, I don't have that. Who has it? No one really did except one kid in the lobby did have it. We didn't even know him, but he had it. And he actually, uh, you know, messaged. Or no, he like sent the guy that was hosting the lobby. He sent the guy the code. The guy gets the code. He starts it up. And I guess as he was loading it, he turned it off his Xbox. And... Before we know it, like, we get kicked from the lobby, everyone's here, we're like, what happened? Then the dude who gave him the 1600, I invited him to our party, the dude stole his 1600 Microsoft points. He just told him, you know, I needed that to get, uh, the lobby started, and he was like, okay, I'll send you it, sends it to him, and the dude just straight up blocks his communications and takes the money. Now, that is such a scummy thing to do, but it worked out really well back in the day in Modern Warfare 2, because kids, we just weren't, honestly, we weren't that smart at that age, and then $20, keep in mind, it's probably not our money, it's probably the parents' money, so, like, we really don't have an, that bit, we're not that upset about it. I did feel bad for the guy, though, because he did lose 20 bucks, and he could have used his Microsoft points for himself. Um, and sorry if I'm pausing right now, my iMovie is just doing some crazy stuff with the screen. I hope when I render the video, y'all don't see these pink lines flashing across the screen. Hopefully that that's not going to happen. But, uh, so, that was, like, the greatest scam of the day. Like, because it would happen consistently, and they would literally probably make a good bit of money Microsoft point-wise from it. Because one time I, like, before I witnessed that, I even thought about it, and I was like, hmm, I don't know if this is legit. Plus... You know, I'm prestige like four or five. Like I can get there eventually. Uh, you know, the summer, right? I, I thought about it from that standpoint. Um, then eventually, I actually got into one for free later on in Modern Warfare 2, and I got 10th prestige. Uh, all the emblems, all the camos, which is really fun. Like I, I think it then allows you to fully enjoy the game. I guess some people like the challenges to get camos, but if you guys don't remember the challenges for uh camos back then were extremely difficult. So like Red Tiger was like 75 headshot and then I think 
what was it? Was it Fallen Camo? That was like, or Fall Camo? It was like the coolest one, the mo the highest, like, the hardest one to get was 300 headshots. And actually, correction, Red Tiger was 150, Blue was 100. So, like, that's, 300 headshots is crazy. I don't even think, like, the guns I have gold on have 300 headshots. Probably not even 120 or something. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that was a freaking tedious task to do, and everyone just wanted to get the camos for free. Also, get, being able to have a freaking awesome... 10th prestige emblem which in my opinion Modern Warfare 2 had the best prestige emblem for number 10 um you also got a spinning emblem like it literally was the prestige emblem but you put it by uh your little like flag or whatever you had your calling sign and it would spin and it was just three dimensional it was so freaking cool and everyone loved it and those were some of the motives that kids would actually pay to try to get into 10th prestige lobbies and unfortunately they got ripped off and tons of people got ripped off uh I really wish there was like a statistic on how many people truly lost money, but um, I fortunately was not. I actually got into one for free, like I said, but I really, really felt bad for the guy who lost his. Um, and I just knew kids were going to do it. Uh, I'd always go into the lobbies and hear kids try to talk other kids into it. I'd try to be like, yo, guys, yo, don't believe them. It's a scam. And some people would listen, some people wouldn't. But, uh, yeah, dudes, that was, like, the biggest and greatest scam, especially for being a kid. Like, the dudes doing it were probably, like, 10 to 12 years old, and they were scamming some people. They were hustling. Rick Ross would appreciate that. Am I right? So, yeah, guys, that's going to bring the, you know, bring us to the end of the video and the topic. But one thing I want to talk about before I fully close and do the outro is streaming. I stream on twitch.tv backslash it's underscore a VG A V I C I I and you guys need to follow that. That link is down below. Um the reason I stream actually I'm not even sure if the link is below. I have to check that. Uh I started streaming there, I ran a poll on my Twitter if you guys didn't see. What should I stream on? Should I stream on uh Twitch or YouTube? Because if you guys haven't known, I do stream on YouTube quite a bit uh, over the past couple months, but you know what? Twitch seems to be the right route. Um, the other night we pulled in a good amount of viewers and we were just pumping, you know, playing some arena gameplay with our friends and it was awesome. So definitely check out my Twitch and also uh, follow my uh, Twitter. Those links are down below. If you're interested in a YouTube partnership, I got Maker Studios. I'm partnered with them. You can use my referral link down below to see if you apply for a YouTube partnership. They'll help your channel grow and help you get those views and subs. Make sure you check them out, guys. Um, and yeah, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. It has been your boy VG, and I'm out. Peace.